Here we go. Yeah, interesting chair. All right. If I could uh, bring this meeting to order, and if I could ask you to all arise so we can do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And then a uh, moment of silence, please. Uh, in memory of the Easton firefighter who was killed during the storm. Thank you. And then order the pledge. Um, Just as we're kicking things off here, I did want to take a moment um, and just recognize that uh, we spent 14 days uh, kind of recovering uh, from the storm and did want to take um, one quick moment at the beginning of the meeting here and just recognize that in looking at this storm and looking at it, uh, how it impacted our town, uh, certainly it's, it's the worst storm in uh, my lifetime. Uh, when I look at the uh, neighborhoods the damage, it hit Fairfield harder uh, than any other town uh, in Connecticut. Uh, I think the response was phenomenal. When I look at what it meant in, in our town, and specifically our town government, uh, we think in terms of uh, fire, police, DPW, uh, our health department responding, but I think in this storm, because of the magnitude of it, I can't think of a department that wasn't impacted by this. And I. I go down the list from IT and finance that actually came in early and made sure that our payroll checks for town employees were run off so they get paid at the end of the week, uh, regardless of what happened during the storm. When I look at uh, engineering, uh, working to make sure that, that uh, our maps with trees down and closed roads are updated literally hourly during the storm. I look at our building department working um, weekends. I look at the Board of Ed uh, and the, and the uh, both as part of the Ludlow Shelter serving food uh, to our uh, shelter uh, uh, guests dur during the storm. Uh, the departments that help staff the call center, everybody from uh, Parks and Rec to Human Resources folks volunteering to help out in there. Um, I just am um, floored by the, uh, I just haven't seen another event that brought literally every employee in town together. Um, it was really, it really made me proud to see the way everybody worked together, how smoothly it worked, the amount of cooperation, the fact that uh, I think we went through all that and we didn't miss a shift. Uh, I don't remember anybody calling in for an hour out. So it was just uh, uh, a great response, I think, by our town employees. And frankly, on, on behalf of the residents, when I look at it, the things that we asked our residents to do were really hard. One, evacuate your homes. Now, while not everybody left, we got a phenomenal response to that. And that saved, um, I think, both, uh, personal injury but, and potentially saved us from a loss of life given some of the flood damage that, that took place in that. Um, and I think it saved our emergency services workers from having to go out in the storm and rescue people because they weren't in their homes. They did take time to evaluate, evacuate. I think that also helped us uh, respond faster after the storm for the cleanup and, and getting services back attached. So I think just uh, as much as it was uh, tremendously uh, uh, damaging experience in terms of loss of property. Uh, and I think we had over a thousand homes that were damaged in some sort of way by the uh, by the flood. I think we had 25 to 30 homes that had significant tree damage from trees coming down. There were uh, estimates are over a thousand trees overall came down. Uh, that's a lot of trauma to put our town through. Uh, but I was very impressed with our town employees. I was very impressed with our residents and how they responded. Uh, so it, that's uh, my observations on that. And, and if my fellow selectman would like to offer any thoughts. Well, just quickly, I would like to agree with everything you said, Mike. And our town did a phenomenal job from every department to every citizen working together, helping and putting other people's needs, you know, equal to theirs and ahead of theirs. And when I got to walk down to the beach two days after everything happened and could see all the neighbors who, who were able to get back there at that point in time, working together, they were pumping out each other's basements. I mean, it, it was heartwarming. And it was like watching a well-oiled team working together across the whole town. And it, it was a good feeling and, and, and a, a great outcome um, from, a, from a big storm. So I'd like to thank everyone. 
Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I, what I've said about this storm is that it was an absolute mess, but a miracle. And I think that it is amazing how the how the town came together. And I feel, like you said, proud, proud of our the people who serve in so many ways and the unsung heroes, you know, the people who are in the backgrounds who just do the work without uh, any hope or thanks and uh, just are there, are there and on so many levels. So I feel grateful for that. And I think that, you know, in a time in the midst of the election and everything and sometimes focus on our differences, it was just so inspiring and hopeful how we all came together. So I really am grateful. And, and also want to thank you, Mike, for your leadership. Um, I think that you know, you've know you thanked a lot of people. Um, and Kevin, I know, was here volunteering as well. Um, I think it's just, it's been an amazing experience. Um, and I think now we, we learn from it and mm -hmm. we go forward. And each time, I think there was a lot of improvement from Irene, and then we learn from this one, and hopefully we won't have to face anything like this again in our lifetime. But thank you. Good point. There were there were a number of improvements we made uh, between Irene and this storm, mm -hmm. uh, and just so everybody's aware, uh, we're going to sit down, have a debriefing, as we did after Irene. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put together a series of, of lessons learned and things we can improve in. Uh, I will. Um, uh, I've asked Art Reed to head that up as he did last time, and. Uh, over the next few weeks when that's complete, we'll ask him to join, come before this board and kind of step through that so that's everybody great. can kind of go through that. That's great. All right, certainly if, if there are any thoughts or suggestions you all have in terms of things you watched or saw that we can improve on, mm -hmm. uh, please either send those my way or send those directly to our read okay. uh, so that we can capture those too. Thank you. All right, now getting on for the, uh, if that's okay, we'll get on with the rest of the agenda. Please. All right, uh, we have some resignations. Uh, Board of Assessment Appeals, uh, Stephen Tower. Uh, Shellfish Commission, uh, Gregory Lanute. And Special Projects Standing Building Committee, uh, Mike Giaquinto. And uh, we'll be looking for uh, replacements in those three areas. Uh, reappointments, Solid Waste and Recycling Commission. Uh, this does require RTM approval. Uh, Sheila M. Dravis, uh, okay to take these together, please. Right. And Sharon Pastilli uh, may have a motion to accept. So moved. A second? Second. All right. Any comments or questions or discussion from the group? Kevin, you okay? I'm good. Go Kristen? Uh, just a comment, one, to thank both of you for serving and for being willing to continue. Um, and just a question for you, either or both of you. Um, just what you see is most the most pressing needs for the commission at this point. Any concerns, comments? I think. And if you're going to answer that, could you please come up to the podium so the microphone is there and identify yourself for the home audience? Uh, this is Sharon Mistilli, Chair of the Solid Waste Recycling Commission. Um, I think the most that, as a commission, the thing, our, our biggest goal is to see our recycling numbers increase. Um, we implement in single stream and we're expecting the numbers to go up more than they have. And so we've been continuing to investigate why um, the numbers haven't gone up to the extent that we'd like and we're continuing with the public um, awareness campaign just to make sure that everybody's aware of what they're supposed to be doing and to try to do it in a way that doesn't really impact uh, town budgets. So using social media, and the like in order to get the word out. Okay. Do you have you. any other questions or? No. Thank you for your service. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Please, your turn at the podium. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Sheila Dravis. Uh, I I repeat what Sharon has said about um, getting the word out, public awareness. It's really important to increase and, and move forward with single stream. It does save the town money. Um, but also like to continue with our movement into the schools and make sure that there's public awareness within the kids in the classrooms there. Um, that's been something we've been touching on a little bit. 
but hope to do a little bit more in the next four years. I, I have a question, if you don't mind. Um, with the single stream, we all have a lot more recycles now. And my bin gets filled by Wednesday, Thursday, and by Sunday I don't have room for everything. So is there, is there a process to acquire a second blue bin, and how, how would you get one if you need one? Yes, you can call the Solid Waste Recycling Office, the department, okay. and, and, or you can go to Home Depot and, you know, purchase your own or another, okay. you know, or um, something else that I've done I, because there's less garbage. I've turned my garbage can into a recycling bin. You just want to make sure it's, you can take a, a, a Sharpie and mm -hmm. mark recycling on it. Okay. That way your private hauler will know for sure Which one? what it is. Great. Thank okay? you. You're welcome. Go ahead. Uh, just your comment about the schools is great. And do you work together with the green teams in the PTAs Actually, and with the school administration? What kind of communication have you had? We actually, Sharon and I, were part of the original green team. So, and it's now a, it was, um, became an official PTA um, committee. And it's, um, we haven't worked with them directly as uh, from the commission to the green team at this point, but that's something, yeah, we'd like to do and, and check to see where they're at and what activities they're running. So, Thank you. yeah. Thank you. Thank right. you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any further comments? No, thank you. Uh, any comments from the public? Seeing none, back to the board. Are we ready to vote? Yes. yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, item number five, uh, appointments uh, to the Burr Gardens Advisory Committee. Uh, Gene Finley, may I have a motion to accept? So moved. A second? Second. Okay. Any comments? Is Gene here? No. Okay. Uh, I know Gene has, has been spoken very highly of uh, by members of the uh, Burr Gardens Committee. Uh, they've been looking for uh, someone to uh, fill out their roster for a bit, and um, Gene has graciously volunteered to help out there. Any discussion? Um, are any members of the Burr Gardens Advisory Committee here? Yes. Yes. And just curious if, if you had occasion to speak with Jane and has she been able to attend any meetings and is she, in your opinion, ready to go and join the group? I'm Ellen Gould, a member of the Burr Gardens Advisory Committee. Um, I have not met Jean, Jeannie Findlay. I work closely with her husband and have heard many great things about her from other members of the committee, none of, which could, none of whom could be here this evening. So I thought I would come and introduce myself and have a conversation with her, but unfortunately she's not here. But we're looking forward to it. More talent and more great ideas to support the town. And we're, we're Raring to go. Good. And I think you'll have a plan that you'll be presenting to us at some point coming up here soon. And Very soon. On. Yes. Okay. I think Very in good. January. Mr. Connolly, did you have anything I'm to, good. to add to Thank that? Thank you. Um, I know Ms. Finley's not here. Um, are you all comfortable voting on this today, or would you like to? Uh, I am, personally. I, I think for me, hearing yeah. that the other members of the committee are supportive and that there's a sense that you'll work well together and she's a welcome addition and certainly her enthusiasm and willing to be a part of it yeah. is uh, something I'm willing yeah, to support. I uh, do know Ms. Finley and her family, so yeah. I'm, I'm comfortable in that regard. Uh, any comments from the public? All right, back to the board. Are we ready to vote? Mm -hmm. Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 And Ellen, thank you. You're Thanks. Welcome. Uh, next up, uh, Solid Waste and Recycling Commission, uh, Wendy Brent uh, Martinez from 684 Catamount Street uh, for term 1112 through 1116. May I have a motion to accept? So moved. A second? Second. All right. Any discussion? Yes. I, I just want to thank you, Wendy, for coming back through uh, mm -hmm. the process. Uh, you were here before, and uh, I think just some paperwork issues that we have updated and hopefully will help um, 
everyone see that you're a great candidate for this position? Um, clearly, you've had a chance to talk to members of the commission as you're sitting together today, and I know um, you have. So I, I'm glad that you're bringing your experience to this, and we'll look forward to supporting you through the RTM process. Okay. All right. Uh, I will also comment. I've known Wendy for uh, a number of years now. I know her commitment to uh, recycling, going green, and, and sustainability. And I think she's uh, you incorporated this as part of one of her tenets or values uh, in the business. Um, and we had uh, worked in the same profession in real estate for uh, a number of years before this. So I'm thrilled that, uh, Wendy, you take this time to volunteer. I, I want to thank you for lending your expertise to the town and helping out in a great way here. Um, so. Any further comments from here? Any comments from the public? Uh, are we ready to vote? Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Wendy, uh, both congratulations. And would you like to say anything? I just want to say. Um, uh, if you would, from the podium. <laughs> I just want to say thank you very much for your kind words. And I'm looking forward to serving the town. I'm happy to hear that recycling is a you know, important um, point that they want to focus on because that's obviously something that I want to focus on. So I'm looking forward to it. All right. Wendy, thank you very much and, and congratulations again. Thank you. All right. Uh, next up, Fair TV Operational Committee Charge. Now, just to be clear, this is a charge that was approved by this board a few years back. We've gone through a host of discussion uh, and agenda items on this. And I think what we're trying to do here um, for uh, this board's consideration, it's been suggested that uh, this charter needs to be looked at, that in fact the Fair TV has become such a big part of our culture um, that we need to make it uh, more formal and perhaps even look at it making that part of a, an ordinance have the RTM consider making it a more formal part of our town structure. Uh, to do that, um, it seemed um, appropriate to modify this charge and just set a sunset on this through June 30th mm -hmm. is what I would be proposing uh, to let the uh, committee, which we'll be appointing in the next item, focus on bringing this charge up to date and any other uh, items be added that uh, for consideration mm -hmm. so that uh, Fair TV uh, continues to be part of the, the Fairfield landscape. Um, so I guess to kick that off, um, I would just um, suggest keeping it simple and adding to uh, the very final paragraph under duration, it says uh, committee members shall serve terms of three years. Committee shall issue a report to the selectmen June 3rd in addition to getting reports annual outlining progress and further goals. Um, and this uh, charge shall uh, terminate on uh, June 30th, 2013, uh, unless extended. Attorney Lester, if you just come the last up. paragraph. There's yes. The date is June 30, 2007. Yes. I'm sorry. It, this says 2007 at the moment. Yeah. I would like to add a sentence at the end of that paragraph, a last sentence, saying this committee shall terminate on June 30th, 2013. But the report is due. This says the report is due in 2007. That should also be the uh, the re that, that is a historical reference, and, and when this was passed in October 11, 2006, I wasn't here, but I'm assuming that report was issued on a timely basis. My question is, are you asking them to give another okay. report? Uh, this says giving re getting reports annually. Okay. So, um, well, I wasn't, I haven't... Change it to 2013 also, so that it's... If you're asking for another report, if you're not, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, um, um, I, my suggestion would be to just um, strike strike the language there. 
If the Strike the second. Sorry. So rather than adding the sentence I suggested on, just replace the second sentence of that with this committee shall terminate in 2013, which it would then make it all part of. No, I mean, that's another option, but my thought was to strike the language the committee shall issue a report to the selectmen by June 30th, 2007 instead. Um, okay, from a Robert Troll standpoint, we have a amendment on the table mm -hmm. okay. that has not been seconded. Um, I'll second it. I just didn't, um, I didn't catch all of it, though. Well, well you're right. seconding the wording that I suggested. Yes. And then we'll come back okay. to Kristen's point yep. okay. once we've okay. agreed on this okay. amendment, if right. that's appropriate. That's fine. Can you clarify your amendment, please? Uh, that we would have a, th there are two sentences in the, the last paragraph mm -hmm. that we would add the third sentence and final sentence to be this committee shall terminate on June 30th, 2013. Yeah. So. That's pretty straightforward. I think we can we can move with that and then go to a second change if possible. You want to mm -hmm. do it that way? Yep. Okay. We'll take one amendment at a time. Okay. Right. So any discussion on the First Amendment? I just the first time you said it, you said this charge shall terminate. So you want to say this committee shall terminate. That's what you're... I think the committee you. makes... That's fine. It's just It's more appropriate charge. Okay. Thank you for catching that. Okay. okay. So it's... It should read, this committee shall terminate on June 30th, 2013. Okay. I'm good with that. All right. Any other discussion at this time? On the amendment. On the amendment. The amendment only. All right. Going to the public. Any comments from the public on the amendment and the amendment only? All right. Back to the board. Are we ready to vote on the amendment? All right. Can I ask... Can I ask just one question on the amendment? Sure. If the amendment passes, does that, it might be a question for Stan as well, um, that defaults this committee to a temporary committee status? Is that Why don't we the, clarify is that, that. Is that the, is Mr. That the Lester, thought? if you could from, that was certainly the intent. Right, yeah. that's what I thought. I, I believe it would be a temporary committee since there's no, there's, it, it's not in perpetuity. It, it has an ending date, so it's, I think, by definition, temporary. Yes, okay. the answer is yes. Okay. Thank you. All right, are we ready to vote? Mm -hmm. Aye. On the amendment? Yes. yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. So this, uh, the charges before us as amended, any other suggestions or, or amendments? My thought would, would be that we do need to look at the first two sentences because <coughs> First sentence, the mm -hmm. committee members shall ter serve for a term of three years. Meets if do you want to shall serve for the duration of the committee, like or potentially or just striking, June striking the sentence, right? And what would be your preference? Well, that's fine. Just for can I just discuss before making a motion? Is this mm -hmm. okay since we're discussing the charge? Yeah, that striking is one possibility. Mm -hmm. um, which makes sense. Again, just trying to make sure that we're consistent here. And then, again, I think either we're asking, if we're going to look at possibly striking that second sentence, mm -hmm. the beginning of that as well. Um, I think the one thing about this sen second sentence is, um, and my understanding of our past conversations here has been that we we're really hoping that this group will go back and take a look at where things are now, and given all the work that's been done and time put in, to relook at it and come back and, and just update us and, and let us know. So I think we, whether we're calling it a report, it's not annual because this is a temporary committee, so um, I would just suggest that we I think it is probably best, and I will make a motion to strike the first sentence entirely and to then uh, change the second sentence to read, um, the committee shall report to the selectmen prior to its June 30th termination date. Prior to June 30th, 2013, and just put a period after that? Would that does that do what you want? There may be an, uh, Sorry to be standing here. up here again. Oh. I think it would be best that you at least define the terms that the that the members are serving. Okay. Don't leave it. Just don't leave it blank. 
okay. you know, because you were appointing them for a certain term. You could say, I mean, three years is fine. Yeah. When the, if the committee terminates, it terminates. If but we look, if we look at, in there should be that, some time, right? If we look at um, the charge, the, the they're being reported until July 13. So basically, on July 1st, 2013, they're. Mm -hmm. So, we could mm -hmm. define it as that. You could say. So in essence, their terms run the same term as the committee. That. We could just simplify it in one sentence and say something along the lines of the, the committee members will serve a term ending on June 30th, 2013 and issue a report to the Board of Selectmen prior to that date. Would that do? That works. Something along those lines? Yes, that works. Kristen, what do you think? I think do you want to reward it a little bit? No, I'm just trying to write it down so I can... <laughs> So yes. that, that would be striking sentence one, striking sentence two, and replacing it with committee members shall serve a term ending on June 30th, 2013, comma, and issue a report to the Board of Selectmen prior to June 30th, 2013. I, if I, which would coincide with this, right? Yeah. That's a motion? Yes. I will second that motion. Okay. Jen, do you have all that written down? I do. Okay. Any further discussion on the motion before us to amend? No, I think. Go ahead. But Just to, to clarify, the and the report that we are looking for, so that this is clear today, is that um, we're asking this group to come back and report on the work of the committee as well as this charge itself is that what you all understand this to be as well or simply a report back to the body related to the work of the committee and and i raise that because one of the things that has been discussed which i think is a valid issue you brought it up um, mr tetro and i think it's been brought up before um, by members of the committee who have been serving the idea of creating an ordinance that there are a number of possibilities to try and allow this to be a more formal permanent structure with clearly defined um, scope moving forward given where we are today so again my question is this this is open-ended language a report um, which I'm fine with but I want to make sure that there's clarification here that the, the three of us as the Board of Selectmen are clear that um, the report may or may not include this, the charge itself versus the operations of the committee. Yeah, so um, perhaps if we added something that said uh, this report should include but, uh, but not be limited to recommendations for the future of this uh, Fair TV uh, committee. Okay. Recommendations on any changes or modifications to the, to the charge. Uh, and a report and uh, a report on uh, the year-to-date operations of the committee. Sounds good. May I, through you to those present who have been involved, I would love to hear thoughts on that because that, that that makes sense to me. That just to clarify so that everyone involved is clear about that so maybe to Mr. Canelli. Mr. Canelli, if you come to the podium. Uh, Jim Canelli, uh, Edgewood Place, 117 Edgewood Place, uh, uh, Fair TV committee from years past. Um, I think that makes reasonable sense. Um, the hope is, and it's what the first selection has laid out, is that the, what you're voting on today will be a sunsetted committee uh, with two goals. One, to reestablish some uh, kind of uh, operational oversight that you guys are very busy dealing with storms and everything else. And then at the same time, doing what you described, Select Women, which is um, developing over the next few months, um, kind of the 
uh, the charge, the rules of the road for what would probably be some sort of ordinance language to f more formalize the um, structure for Fair TV going forward beyond July 2013. And that certainly can be um, uh, worked out in a report that can be provided to the Board of Selectmen for their own action as part of that process going forward. So I, th I support what you're described. Thanks. Thank you. Other questions? Sure. Before you go, sure. first of all, thank you for sure. Sure. your persistence with this and all your work. I um, I also wanted to just recommend that as as this process moves forward, particularly if the thought does become to make it an ordinance which would go through the RTM process, that perhaps the committee consider inviting, and I know I may be kind of jumping into the next item a bit, but the com committee might consider inviting um, some one or two folks from the RTM to oh, yeah. perhaps attend the meetings and become more familiar so that they could help sponsor and support that if that's the way. I, I thoroughly think that's wise, but uh, and not to jump the gun further, <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Uh, I've already had brief discussions with some of the nominees ahead of you on the agenda, and our um, I think our sense is either the first or second Monday of each month will be the meeting where we'll gather as regular meetings to if we are approved and move forward and in the course of those meetings we'll do the oversight function to hear from the systems uh, system manager and all about how things are going and are things being done we've got bills and things that have to be paid um, peg central our online services do at the end of the month but um, I do think that will be a forum where any of your members here who are concerned can come to that meeting and we'll make sure that it's, uh, members of the public um, interested citizens groups can also take part in that process um, and we look forward to it we, you know we really want to we really hope in a way that this will only broaden people's sense of ownership broad ownership regardless of party or affiliation uh, in uh, their feeling of ownership o over fair TV the way they're proud of uh, you know the, the beaches they should be proud in the same way um, in a nonpartisan way of fair TV Mr. Kelly, thank you unless there's any other questions oh, good. Um, any other comments? Uh, so okay to go to the vote? Sure. Yes. Mr. Flynn, please come up. Uh, Tom Flynn, 67 uh, Sage Mode. And this may be actually, if uh, Jim and I had had a chance to uh, meet before this 10 seconds ago. <laughs> Um, we would have been able, we would have gone over this and I uh, wouldn't have to ask the question, but uh, I think it's necessary to ask it in case you people feel that this is something that you want to comment on. Um, I'm, I, I understand, I think, the charge, uh, recommendations for the future, recommendations for a change to the charge and uh, report on year-to-date operation, I think I got that. Uh, but there are other things that um, I would like to think the committee could get involved in, uh, and I just want to make sure that that is within the charge. Uh, the one in particular that I have in mind is that uh, the Soundview Corporation in Bridgeport uh, spent a lot of money and effort trying to uh, just eliminate uh, the Cable 2 Advisory Committee last year, and with it, Fair TV, it would have gone. Uh, they would have, they did not get a good ruling from the uh, DPUC or whatever the, the, uh, the person sure. the DP, DPUC is. Um, if they charge, if they try again this year, uh, uh, is it within the purview of this committee to come back to take a look at that and recommend what we need to do to defend ourselves, or is this when not, that's not within the purview of the committee? Uh, Okay, if I take a shot at that? Yeah, please. All right. I think that the, in simplest form, this charge is to promote um, the growth and use of Fair TV. Mm -hmm. So it, it, I know that it may not say that in quite the exact words, but uh, so I would think it's well within the purview of the committee to uh, make sure whatever it needs to do to strengthen Fair TV and, and, and provide for the future of Fair T TV is a necessity, and I think conceptually the, the idea of, of uh, potentially taking it to the RTM, potentially building an ordinance, ordinance and, and embedding it more into the fabric 
of our community is what that's all about. Okay. So that's a long way of saying yes. Please support <laughs> it to the best of your ability. Good. Thank you. That's Thank you. Good. And I, I would just back that up, though. And number two, to provide for the ability of downtown departments and agencies to reach out to the public through cable TV. And that's part of what that is, is ensuring that you are able to provide for that. So I do see that. Good. That will do it. Thank you. All right. Any other comments from the public? All right. Then back to the board. All right. So there's a... So there's, there's an amendment on the table, right? Is, is the, I guess it's just the amendment. Yes, it's the second amendment. Uh, right, which was to strike sentence one, strike sentence two, and replace it with Jen. Could you possibly read it back so I don't get it wrong? Okay. Um, committee members shall serve. Committee members shall serve a term mm -hmm. ending on June 30th, 2013, and issue a report to the Board of Selectmen prior to June 30th, 2013. Mm -hmm. As, as well as striking those two sentences. So. And striking right. the two sentences. Do you want to do that? Do you want to do that piece first and then we go to the report piece? We already voted th on that part, no. I thought, didn't we? No. No, I think that okay. the striking and the change are all part of the... Yeah. We, we, we voted on the, the, uh, the additional sentence about the termination. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we okay. voted on... We did not. We only voted okay. on the first amendment. Right. Okay. That's right. So, before... Can we do it all together, striking and then adding the this report? If we more. call it replacing, yes. All right. I'll let you do that then. Mm -hmm. So we're going to replace the first two sentences with what Jen has just read? Yes. Is that okay? Absolutely. But then Kristen had some additional language about definitions of the report. That's where you're going. Right. So do we want to add that to what we just did to vote on that and then tackle that? I think so. Okay. I think we want to add it in. Go ahead. I, I think you gave language to it. It was, uh, and I don't know if you had that. I'm to as well. read it back. Okay. And a report from the committee should include, but is not limited to, recommendations from the committee, modifications, recommendations to the charge, and a report on the year-to-date operations. I, the, what you, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. The recommendations to the committee, I think, was recommendations for the future of Fair TV. Right. How, can you read that language again? A report should include, but is not limited to, recommendations from the committee, mm -hmm. modifications and recommendations to the charge, and a report on the year-to-date operations. And I would just suggest that I think what we what what uh, Mr. Tetra said was recommendations for the future of Fair TV, prior to the recommended charge changes. I think you're correct. Which I think. So that replaces the first two sentences, and then the, the last sentence with the committee terminates on June 30th, 2013. Okay. Yep. Okay. So we're voting on that amendment. I'm agreeable to that. Yeah, All right. Are uh, we ready to vote? Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 So now what's before us is the charge as amended. Any further discussion? Aye. Any further comment from the public on the charge as amended? Back to the board. Are we ready to vote? Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 So that uh, charge has now been officially amended. All right. Next item up, uh, we have Fair TV appointments. Uh, is it okay to take these in a group, or would you like to take them individually? A group is fine. We. Same with me. Fine. All right. Yes, Absolutely. please. Then the motion before us to appoint to the Fair TV Operational Committee, Thomas Flynn. Democrats, 67 Sachem Road, um, Alex, Alexis Harrison, Republican, 88 Nolwood Drive, Pamela Jones, Democrat, 1495 Cross Highway, and Jim Kennelly, Democrat, 117 Edward Place. I have a motion to accept. So moved. A second? Second. All right. Any discussion? All right. I'll just start with a comment then that I want to thank all four of our members, both for volunteering to serve 
and their patience with us as we've kind of wankled our way through this uh, process of, of uh, deciding how best to move this through and, and move Fair TV forward. Um, no, just thank you for serving, and again, thank you for your patience. I would echo that. Um, tremendously grateful for the work that's already been done as well, and just acknowledge and recognize that we will continue to work to make sure this is a balanced group, which right, we yeah. talked about before. Absolutely. So. Uh, and I think along those lines, we should mention uh, Mr. Kyle, as you pointed out in, in our past meeting, that we're still looking for one more member of this and, and we'll evaluate other candidates to do that, but we wanted right. to get this started. Absolutely. Uh, with that, any comments from the public? All right, seeing none, back to the board. Are we ready to vote? Yes. yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations, Congratulations, folks. Congratulations. Now, I believe three of you are here. Would anyone care to uh, comment? Mr. Kennelly, the podium is yours. Thank you so much, Mr. First Select. Jim Kennelly, 117 Edge Place. Back on the Fair TV Committee. Um, I just want to let anybody who's listening to this that um, our hope is I'm going to be, uh, as I mentioned just before, we're going to look for Monday meetings because they're um, three of the weeks they're fairly open for the system manager, Jerry Spino, um, and we'll see if we can work that out. Our hope is 730 here probably in lower level if it's available um, that conference room also allows folks who come if they're interested in seeing how the system works we have the server i also invite mm -hmm. members of the board of selectmen to come down and see what is done if you think jerry's a magician wait till you see uh his little trunk downstairs you'll be amazed what he's actually able to accomplish with that very <laughs> very little trunk um, but I would really would encourage members of the public, um, PTA Council, League of Women Voters, uh, uh, the, some organizations for seniors, taxpayer groups. This is an opportunity for you to come see how we do these things. You know, our hope is, is you know, we haven't overworked Jerry's and we run a camera um, and make sure people can see it broadcast. But it's a good opportunity to express yourself, and we'll look forward to to doing that in the very near future. Okay. Great, thanks. And Mr. Kelly, thank you both for your service, but also your vision in putting all this together. Thank you. I just think of comment. Attorney Lesser? Before they leave, before the folks leave. I'm sure that the members of the commission know this, but I would suggest perhaps that as they get started, they reach out to Eileen Kennelly uh, to talk about FOI and noticing the meetings properly. I know you, you probably have done that already in the past. Okay, just wanted to check. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Ms. Jones? <clears throat> Pamela Jones. Uh, first, my address has changed. It's uh, no longer 1495 Cross Highway. Ah, okay. It's 240 Sunny Ridge Avenue. Very good. Jen, will you get that for the? Um, I just wanted to mention that um, Tom Flynn, I guess, um, referenced this uh, uh, complaint that was filed uh, by Soundview Media, Community Media um, relative to the Cable Advisory Council. The Cable Advisory Council provides some funding to Fair TV. Uh, if this complaint is successful, it would put in jeopardy so, uh, the, at least the pathway for the funding that is received by our town committee. The, Cable Advisory Council currently disseminates funds to the six Area 2 towns. I just wanted to notify, since you're all together, uh, that I've spoken to the Assistant Attorney General about this matter, who's uh, rep uh, representing the state and uh, Pura in this um, complaint. Um, and um, he thinks it's definitely in the, in the interest of the town to file as an intervener. The judge, uh, the state, after the complaint was filed, um, asked for um, the Cable Advisory Council to be included as an essential party. What happened was the, the motion was filed, the complaint was filed to essentially get rid of the, the count, well, get rid of the funding going to the council, which then goes to us as well as other committees. Um, because it said this, the Cable Advisory Council didn't exist. So uh, the state came back and said, well, you never served the Cable Advisory Council. They can't defend themselves. You, should, you must serve them. The judge agreed they're an essential party. The argument was made that the towns 
are also essential parties, as you can see, because the funding trickles down to us. The judge did not agree. However, it's, it's three of the towns have filed as interveners. I believe it's uh, Woodbridge, Orange, and Milford has just filed also. Um, I, it's anyhow. I just wanted to kind of give you that info. Why don't you, why don't you give us that? Uh, why don't we do two things? One, you've made it aware of the board. It's obviously very important. Why don't we talk uh, between now and the next meeting? And if we need more time, if if there's more to, to inform the board about, perhaps at the next uh, absolutely meeting that uh, you could you could step us through that. Okay, sure. Thank you right. very much. Thank you. Um, I think we are done with this topic. Yes. All right. Finally. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you again for our friends of Fair TV. Our next stop is a request for the use of Town Green to hear, consider, and act upon a request from the Kiwanis Club for the use of Town Hall Green September 21st and 22nd of 2013 from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. for their 22nd annual craft fair. Guys, I have a motion to accept. So moved. A second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Thank you, Kiwanis. Yes, uh, I would add that. Uh, while I'm not currently a member in the past, I have been a member uh, of the Qantas Club. They do many great works, and this is one of their fundraisers uh, each year, so they use this to uh, uh, raise money and, and uh, help serve the community, so I think that's great. Um, but okay to go to the public? Yes. Any comments from the public? All right, back to the board. Ready to vote? Yes. yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations, Qantas. All right. All right. Uh, tax collector refunds. May I have a motion to accept the refunds? So moved. Second? Second. Any discussion? Any comment from the public? Back to the board. Ready to vote? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And last, uh, town attorney, private executive session concerning pending litigation. I might ask the cameras to be turned off and uh, recording equipment off. And if I can have a motion to go into private executive session. So moved. A second? second. Um, may I have a motion to come back into public session? So moved. Second? Second. All right. Um, while in private executive session, no motions were made and no votes were taken, uh, are we ready to vote to come back into public? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. We're back in public session. Um, may I have a motion to accept the attorney's recommendation? So moved. Second? Second. Uh, any further discussion? Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And then uh, next up, uh, may I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second? Second. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Done. Aye. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you.